Hello everyone, Simon here with Pack to Live, and I am out in the beautiful Brandon Country Park, not far from my hometown where I was born and raised, and uh, come out to the country park and found these trees, these wonderful trees. I'll show you more pictures. There we are. They're a sort of a pinkish red colour. These are copper beech trees. Now I make a, a gin using regular green beech, which is also around here. I'll zoom in on that. So that's regular green beech. Uh, but I figure I'm going to give it a go using copper beech leaves. So basically what you want to do is you want to collect uh, a, a decent number of these. Obviously remembering not to take any uh, too many from any one limb. And you want to collect the leaves. Now they're a little bit older than I would normally like. I'd normally like to get them in the first few weeks of spring. Um, technically we are in the first few weeks of spring as we are on the May Day bank holiday weekend. However, uh, these leaves have obviously blossomed early and so they're a little bit older than I would otherwise normally like. So what we're going to do is I'm going to collect a, a quite a decent number of these and then when I've collected, I'm going to collect them because it's a surprise, I didn't realise I would find this, so I'm going to collect them inside my bandana and when I'm done, I will simply show you how sort of what sort of number I have. And what we're going to do with them is make a copper beech gin noyao. Um, I'll put the spelling on the screen. I don't know how to spell it. Uh, it's going to take about a month to make. But if you start collecting the leaves now, then you only have to wait one month from now. Whereas obviously, if you don't collect the leaves before they're past their prime, you simply won't be able to make it this year. And you'll have to wait a whole year. Look at those, there's some pretty leaves. So, okay, so I'm going to do the collection now and then we'll cut back. Okay, so here we are. We've collected a surprisingly a large amount. That's quite a deep hat and I filled it almost all the way up to the uh, opening of the, um, the eyepiece. Uh, that's a good, I'd say 150 to 200 gram weight with the, maybe more actually, probably more than that with the actual balaclava. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a knot in this in a moment and then I'm going to go to the store on Monday, tomorrow, and buy a bottle of gin. Uh, I'm going to buy 700 millilitres or 70 centilitres of Gordon's gin. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to basically take a 750 millilitre canteen, stuff all these leaves into it and then pour the gin on them. And I will leave this formula then for one month. And then in one month, we will finish the video. But before we get to that video, what you will need is a bag of sugar. Get a, get a kilo. You won't need the whole kilo, but get a kilo of sugar. Uh, obviously some water. So, you know, tap water, whatever. And a 250 milliliter or bigger bottle of brandy. You can choose the brandy. And when we're done, uh, in a month from now, we'll use those ingredients to make a beautiful liqueur. Uh, you'll enjoy it, it'll, it'll give everybody the giggles, but it should also, with these copper beech leaves, be a beautiful colour. Now, just to remind you, you can actually make this same drink using green beech, regular old green beech leaves, but if you're going to start making it, you need to get your leaves now, because give it a couple of weeks and they'll be too past it, too far past it to use. Anyway, there's a storm rolling in. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. So I'm going to head on out. But from the wonderful Brandon Country Park in Brandon, Suffolk, thank you for watching. <laughs>